what is up guys welcome to the show we're talking ftx it just keeps snowballing it's getting worse over three billion dollars uh to date is owed to over 50 unsecured creditors let's go ahead and get into it yes yes unfortunately this keeps getting really bad guys let's go ahead and roll to the headline uh collapsed crypto exchange ftxo's top 50 creditors over 3 billion man let's go ahead and get to it uh in battle cryptocurrency exchange ftx owes its creditors north of three billion dollars a list of ftx top 50 unsecured creditors which excludes their name and other identifiable information shows that the largest of them are to be owed more than 226 million dollars the second biggest in the list is owed over 203 million and it's all unpaid guys chapter 11 ftx nobody's getting paid if they do i mean the bohemian government they have all the money all right so I don't know if they're looking to get their situation cleared up before they give the money to uh, other people. I don't know what's going on, but I know they got all of that cash. And uh, they were basically claiming that they ordered SBF to do this hack, to basically go into the back door because there was a back door. We all know about the back door, the door. You know about the door, okay? Uh, they ordered him, hey, get the money. I want you to clear it all out and you give it to us. And that's what happened. They've admitted to it. So. I, I don't know about the creditors. You know, and this is going to be very interesting. Let's go ahead and continue. In total, the unsecured claims labeled as such as they were not secured by collateral. Very weird. Uh, let's continue. The amount of $3.1 billion. That's a non-collateralized debt. Wow. FTX may have more than 1 million creditors, according to the earlier bankruptcy filing. Damn. This is bad, man. FTX's disgraced founder, SBF. Stepped down as CEO earlier this month as the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. FTX, once valued at 32 bill, collapsed in a matter of days after the CEO of Binance, a rival firm, said his exchange would liquidate its FTT tokens. FTT is the native token, well, was the native token of the FTX exchange, and the whole situation plunged as a result of uh, what CZ did. And he did. He, uh, he got rid of a lot of FTT. Let's continue. Um, actually leading to the uh, liquidity crunch. So, uh, yeah, you can blame it on CZ, but uh, apparently the, uh, the the feds were watching SBF for six months prior to uh, what we know today. So uh, we're, we're talking RICO charges, guys. We're talking some uh, serious stuff here. Uh, SBF was being watched by the government long before this happened. So if you can blame CZ all you want, but the feds already knew what was going on. And what CZ did had really nothing to do with what's going to happen in the future to SBF. It had a lot to do with him seeing those books and basically saying, you know what? I, I don't want this. I don't want to, you know, buy this out. I don't want to bring this into my uh, umbrella. No way. So he moved out and he, and I would have dumped my tokens too. He saw the books. He knew what was going on. He was holding a boatload of FTT. He did the right thing, all right, for his platform. So let's go ahead and move on. The Securities and Exchange Commission and the Department of Justice are reportedly investigating what happened. And now they were doing this, six, they've been watching this guy for six months prior to what we know today. And keep that in mind, all right? Now, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were trading lower last Monday. More than $260 billion has been wiped off the crypto market since the actual tweet of November the 6th from Zio. So we all know this. And, and if you look at the chart right now, we're, we're gonna uh, look at the actual uh, market. Uh, it's bleeding, it, it's bleeding. A lot of it has to do with uh, everything that happened uh, way back when Celsius went under, okay? It was just kind of like a snowball effect. There was a lot of things that have been hitting the crypto market, been scaring the shit out of all of the investors. It started back with the Celsius debacle and we're just seeing everything kind of snowball. We're seeing the results of it. This FTX situation is basically the proverbial straw that broke the Campbell's back. <laughs> All right, that's basically what it is. And uh, I don't think it's over. Bankman Freed has been accused by his peers in the crypto industry of flagrant mismanagement and fraud. No shit. Let's go ahead and move on. His exchange allegedly used customers' funds. The, he did. There's no alleged nature. We already know it. The Fed has been watching this dude do this for six months. Let's move on. In a damning account of FTX's demise last week, it's new CEO, John Ray III, which is an in-run dude. This is crazy. You got an in-run if you 
if you don't know about Enron, guys, uh, you need to get to know because Mr. John Ray the Third. Let's just say this guy has a lot of experience dealing with idiots that have basically ran their companies in the dirt. He knows what he's doing because the Enron debacle was horrible. It was bad, and uh, this makes the Enron situation look very small. So that just gives you a kind of a scale of what we're dealing with here. This is way worse. Okay, so. Uh, they got the right guy, but I don't think he's going to be able to actually help SBF avoid jail time because they've been watching this dude for six months. Let's go ahead and get on to this. I uh, uh, said the following that uh, many of the FTX group companies did not have appropriate corporate governance. No shit again. I mean, this is a lot of like Captain Obvious shit here. Obviously, the governance was off. Obviously, there was no foresight. This dude had a back door built into his exchange. Come on, man. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a financial investigator. But uh, I can just take a look at this from the outside and I can know uh, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and move on. On Thursday, FTX said it has credible evidence that the exchange had moved assets to the custody of the Bohemian government. I mentioned that already. Uh, the Bohemian government uh, basically told them to, you know, get the money. They want to make their people right before they let any of that money go. They want the Bohemian people that were involved and got ensnared by this uh, whole situation. They want their money back and they want SBF to make this shit right. As we know today, the feds have been watching this whole situation for up to six months prior to the collapse. Way before CZ came out with his discovery, and way before the FTT sell off, all of that, the feds knew. This is very interesting. Now, as we conclude, uh, the Bank of England uh, Deputy Governor John Cunliffe said that the FTX debacle has added greater impetus for regulators to act on crypto. Now, this is, you know, this is no surprise to me. Um, I think uh, over the seas, across the pond, they have uh, legislation that is going to go into effect in January. Uh, I think our uh, legislative uh, literature is probably going to be modeled after that, but maybe even worse to a degree. Okay. Uh, this FTX shit is just going to make it come to fruition even faster. All right. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe, guys, if you like the content. I'm going to be all over this because this is very interesting. This is going to affect us for years to come. Uh, share the content, like, and we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.